Hello everyone and welcome back. I thought I'd do a really quick tutorial on how to create angel wings. So yeah, let's kick it off. Let's go. So the first thing I want to do, what I did is I just looked for some feather images online and I looked for three separate type feathers. A uh, short one with some fluff and then a really fluffy one and then a nice long feather like this. So what you want to do is just prep those images. You open them in Photoshop or whatever editing program you use and then just uh, remove the background I just did it very roughly with a quick selection and then you want to save these out as PNG files that we're going to use in Blender but before we do that I want to just take these and create bump maps for them so you just want to open them up here then you go to we're going to go to filter Go to 3D and we say um, generate generate height bump map. And then just give that a second. Alright, and then that looks fine. Um, maybe we should invert. Uh, yeah. So once you've got your pump map, I'm happy. I'm just going to click OK. And then we need to save this. We can probably bump up the contrast here. So. Or the texture. So let's have a look here. If I go to texture, just pump that up. Yeah, and then I'm say okay. And then I'm gonna go save this as a PNG file. Feather one. I'm gonna call that feather one. Bump. Save. Save. And I'm just going to go through and do that for the other two feathers as well. Okay, once we've gone and prepped our feathers, um, now it's time to model out our wing that we're going to be placing our feathers on. So for now, let me just hide the camera and the light. Go to our side view. I'm going to apply a quick subdivision surface modifier. Shade smooth, and then we're going to start modeling this out. So you're going to go... Before I do that, I just want to go here to screencast. Cool. So I'm going to start by selecting this plane. Select these. 
just want to scale it down a bit select this plane and I'm gonna very quick and roughly model a bird wing I'm just going to start over here because I think I messed it up. Um, let's just try that again. Uh, I think let's start by rotating this a little bit. And then we go to edit mode. I'm going to select that side pane and then extrude. No. Rotate. So I'm not too familiar with the anatomy of the bird wing. We should have probably googled it first. But you know what? We're just gonna wing it. No pun intended. G. Um these feathers so this will go gosh so you got this and down and then up and out now let's just go google this cuz i am doing a terrible job of this Okay, so one, two, and three. So we're just going to extrude this out, extrude it out again, rotate, move that down, extrude it, rotate, and I think this will be the last piece. So maybe like that or something. Let's have a look. So short, really long, and short short really long and kind of short so that's good enough okay and then i'm gonna apply a subdivision surface modifier like i said shade smooth so we have the bases for our wing here scale it in a bit we need just to make some modifications here so let's select that and i think let's select these panes Oh, these um, ones and just move it up give this wing some thickness um, we could probably do the same here something like that looks fine okay then I'm going to apply this modifier and I'm just going to go and import our wings. Ugh, I mean our feathers. So let's start by uh, file import image as planes. Okay. So I'm gonna go where go to where I save them, which is my under my textures folder, and I've got um, these three feathers here. So feather one, feather two, and feather three. I'm going to import those. Scale them up. Okay, and now what we need to do is uh, 
Um, what you can do is you can cut along the shape here, so you've got a shape of your feather, or you can just leave them as is. Um, but I think it'll look a little better if we do cut them. So we're going to go select them, go into edit mode. I'm going to use the knife tool, and I'm just going to cut along just a very rough shape. And then I'm going to select this and say delete face, delete face. So we've got a basic shape and I'm going to go and do the same for the other two feathers. All right, let's just rotate that, scale it down, yeah. So that's our small feather, our, our medium-sized feather, and then our really big feather. Cool. And then what I want to do is just adjust the origin points here. So set origin to 3D cursor. Click there. Set origin to 3D cursor. Set origin to 3D cursor. Cool. So we've got that done. Now we need to put our feathers onto our um, onto our wing here. Let's just quickly save our project file. We don't want the power to trip or anything, and then we lose any progress. So just make sure you save your file. Save that angel wing. And then um, we're going to go and start adding in some feathers. I just want to change to cycles and render with my graphics card. And then I'm going to split the view here. Go into my camera. Rendered view. We can now unhide. What I want to do actually is um, add in a environment texture or a HDRI so I'm gonna go back to my HDRIs just add that in for some better lighting more realistic lighting lock my camera view and then I'm just gonna rotate that just so we can see what our wing is going to look like so yeah that looks good and now what I want to go do is um, 
just add in some weights here for weight painting. I'm going to go to my side view. And then for my medium feathers, I'm going to paint in a weight here. So vertex groups, I'm going to add here and I'm going to call this medium feather. And I'm going to start painting here. Um, I only want my medium feathers to grow from halfway into the wing. Like that. Then I'm going to go here into my particle settings, add particle, go to hair, change my render to object, and I'm going to select the small feathers, and I want to say uh, click object rotation, I want on. Um, Okay, show emitter, yeah, that's fine. Um, source emit from vertices, faces, yeah, that's fine. And um, we're gonna just scale up a bit. And then we're gonna add our, click on advanced, so we can go to rotation. So we'll go click on, let's just play with the alignments here. Maybe add interpolated for children. Let's see what that looks like. So it might be a little hectic. Let's see if we rem go to simple. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. We bring the render amount down. Right, so I just quickly rendered out what we have so far. Just so you guys can see, we've got this nice turkey leg. Um, so... This is what we have so far. Cool. Now, what we want to do, I think maybe we should rig this bad boy before we 
we continue on. <clears throat> so let's have a look here. So let's take here. Uh, just hide that quickly. Go into this view. And then we go. We're just going to add a armature. Go to edit mode. Just want to move that. I think let's just move that there. Select this part. Uh, we can place that there. Extrude to there. Extrude again. And extrude one more time. Okay. Now we just need to move this into the center of our mesh so we're just gonna go G G X pop that there and now we want to parent our mesh to our armature so we select our mesh select our bones here and then we just hit control P and we're gonna say um, parent with automatic weights Okay, let's have a look when we, I think the bones, we can just go here to visibility, viewport display, we can say in front of, and we can change this to, to that. And then we go to pose. And we're gonna just play around with this and see if we have something. Oh yes, see now our turkey leg or chicken wing is all moving. It's actually our angel wing, but yeah, it's fun to call it that. Cool, so now we can go back here, go back here and unhide that. And let's see if we move our rig now, will the feathers stay attached? Okay, so See, we have a little problem here. Skip back. I see it's not moving with. It's interesting. I wonder if it's because we added that afterwards. So let's just look, see quickly. Let's remove it very quickly and just see if we re add this. Render as object. Select that feather, hair, um, <clears throat> vertices, face, volume, yeah, so face, uh, advanced and rotation, object rotation. And we're just going to change this to scale that up quickly and just say phase. Let's see what happens here. Yeah? And then let's just see if this moves with our rig now. And it does. So that's what we wanted. Cool. So. Now we just got to fix this. Um, use modifier, stack, random order. No, we want to nice evenly distributed. And um, cool. Give it a little randomize. Don't want to phase it too much. And then let's see if we render this really quickly. What we have. So what we did forget to add is the children. So looking good. Let's just close that and go back here. And then we're going to add in children interpolated right so let's give it another render okay 
yes so now it's filled out nicely and that's what we want okay so we're just gonna stop there for now um, now the thing is we don't want like a thousand so we're just gonna tune that down to 500 and save and what you want to do is I actually want to go into the shading tab okay you go here to rendered view and for this feather I just want to add in a little bit of a subsurface scatter and I want to add some transmission not too much just a little bit of transmission cool and then we can add in so we can so that's feather three so let's just add in go to our feather three bump map and just pull that in here drop it there gonna add a normal map color into color normal into normal that'll just give it some evenness give it some texture see if I take this off it just looks flat but if I pop that back in there there you go right go back to layout <coughs> cool and now we want to move on to the next feather so we're gonna click there add a particle system here we want to render as a object once again we're just gonna repeat the same process remember to select your second feather object rotation we do want to add that but we also want to go now here to our vertex groups and make sure that we set the density to the medium feather that's where we want this feather feather to grow so we're gonna scale it up so obviously that's not what we want we need to change the orientation axis so if we set it to you literally you just have to play around until you get your desired setting so normal yeah set it to normal um phase can be there Um, and let's see if we go to particle edit and we just give this a little brush um, let's go radius and just tell this where to grow Let's see what that does. Um, maybe we need to reduce the amount of feathers here to like 68. And then we want to, if we're not happy, you can play with the seed and then we can bring the scale up again so some of these don't look great let's see what happens if we remove the density okay now so we do want to keep that and um, it just might be that it's not 
setting correctly so we need what we can do is just go paint go back to the weight paint and make sure we select our medium one here all right and then we just need to make sure that it is uniformly painted because it could cause some issues if it's not so we can just go back in there and just fix that so just paint it in nicely um, also on the other side don't forget the other side paint that in it's a timely process but it's going to be worth it in the end I promise cool paint that in there looking good and then change the brush to subtract and make sure we just clean this up a bit we just want to go in there and clean it up you can actually go to the top view radius make sure none of the top here is so no we don't want to do that go back to our side view radius just subtract some of this okay and uh, we're gonna go back here to particles just unhide that see where we stand um, you really just need to play with with it until you get something you're happy with That's looking better. Okay. Um, And let's give that a quick render, see what we are working with currently. <coughs> Looks good. Um, <laughs> I'm just not happy with the shading yet. Uh, we can always play with the shading at another stage. So maybe let's remove the normal map and the transmission. Set that to zero. And the subsurface. Let's just leave that all there for now. Render that again just quickly. Okay, a little bit better. Um, I think we can bring this down to 250. And then this we can bring up to 300. Just to fill it out nicely. Render quickly just to see what we have.
Cool, it's getting there. I think this random order. really just about um, playing with the settings until you get something that you're happy with like I said you just you can just go through all of these different ones and eventually you're gonna come across something so I really feel like that looks a little better um, so we already look looks like we have a wing going yeah and let's see if they still respond to when we move yeah and it still works which is perfect if you bring that in bring that up bring this down gorgeous our wing is looking good save and now for the very last wing we want to um a feather we want to add go to here we're gonna go object this one we want to use this density we can use the same one the medium feather density i think for now let's just hide these two so we can see what we're doing let's bring our scale up quite a bit okay and then um, we need to add object rotation. Let, wait, first let's go here and then we go rotation. And then we need to find a direction that works. So not that. Um, phase it all. <laughs> no, it's not working. My goodness, um, object Y, object Z, object X, phase, okay, and randomize a bit. Cool. So that, <laughs> I don't like it when it does that, that doesn't look, so from the front it looks fine, but that's a very puffy wing, so that is a problem. So we need to work on that, so maybe set this back to normal. See if we take this off.
So it's still not great, you just gotta keep playing. See, finally we have something that's working. Now if we add these back in Alright, so um, Looking good Now these feathers are facing They curve the wrong way and I want to change that So all you need to do is take your source feather here that you've sampled And you just rotate it So we're going to turn that 270 degrees the other way and then you'll see they're curved the correct way <clears throat> and feel free to keep playing with these um, feathers until you're happy like I said there's no perfect way you, you just gotta play with them until you find something that works for you Um. All right, and then one last thing that we want to add is obviously you can see at the top it's not fully covered and we don't want that. So um What we can do is we're going to add one more particle here, advanced. Um, that's fine. And then what we want to do is here dynamics. bring the hair length down here don't want it to be that long and then we can actually go in and brush this hair to fit the shape of our wing or arm uh, we need a smaller radius just brush this nice, make it fit nicely. We just want it to sit nicely here. On our wing, just make sure you brush the other side as well. Looks good. Okay. Um, I just want to zoom in here just so we can see what we're doing. All right, so what we want to do is add some, probably add some thickness. So we want to go here to, that's your source. We want to go to shape, hair shape. Um. I just want to give it a quick render to see what is happening. And we can actually turn all these other ones off. So we can actually see what's happening. Um, render image, just very quickly. Uh, turn the render off here. I have a feeling it's because we can't change these things because our uh, we can go to interpolated see what that does um, 
I want to pump up the clumping. This is doesn't seem right. I have a feeling it's because we need to disconnect, delete, edit, and then we need to play with the shape. Um, here we go. So, yeah, that's better. And then now maybe we can comb it. So let's go back into particle edit. And we're gonna give it a nice brush. See what that looks like. All right, so yeah, we just wanted to fill this out so it doesn't look so bare or empty. So we've just added um, another hair particle system and we just brushed it so it looks covered in like fine hairs. So that's all good. I like that. And then we can go back and unhide all of these. Now I just need to check that it's we can still <laughs> pose this or move it. And yes, it still works, which is phenomenal. This is exactly what we want. Um, So there you have one wing, okay? That looks pretty good. And then you can just duplicate that over. And then you got two wings. So I don't know if this is going to work, I'll be honest with you. Let's see if we hit duplicate. And we say G, X, then no, no, G, Y. And we have to rotate this 180 degrees. See, now this is <laughs> where it gets interesting because now all these feathers are facing the wrong way. Um, Oh, it's fine. It worked. Yeah, there you go. You got two wings. Phenomenal. All right. Uh, so yeah, you just duplicate your wing, and um, you move it into place, and there you have two wings, guys. That you can do crazy animations with. All right, let's um, play with them. Um, okay, so now that we've got both of our wings, we're just going to zoom in here, and then I just want to play a little bit with um, some of these settings here so we can play with sub 
surface scatter. And we can probably bring the transmission up just a little bit. Not too much. We don't want it to be invisible. We just want um, a little bit of the light to come through the feathers. And now we can do it with the other one. A little bit of subsurface scatter. And bring up some of the transmission. And... Same with the last one. We can put some subsurface scatter and some transmission. Great. And now I think we should give this a little render and see what that looks like. I'm going to render this out. And then I'll check back with you guys later. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for tuning in and watching this quick tutorial. I hope this uh, taught you guys something. Um, we've got our wings now. They're ready to animate. You know, they rigged. You can use them however you please. And let me know in the comment section if you found this uh, tutorial helpful. And if you want to see more content like this. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you next time.